There are quite a number of everyday terms used in acting terminology, aren't there? Two that I use quite regularly are stepping up and sitting down on a performance. And stepping up is really important. It's important because every scene you do is a conversation. And a conversation is a contest. And the reason that stepping up is important is because as soon as you stop stepping up on each line, we, the audience, know the contest is over. And it's that contest that is engaging our interest in what's happening. So when the contest ceases, our interest drops immediately and rapidly. So stepping up is really important for audience engagement, but it's also important because it's what you do in life in a conversation. The reason that the next thing you say steps up is because the next thing you say in any conversation is more important than the last thing you said because that's why you're saying it. If it weren't more important, you wouldn't say it. So the stepping up process is about making the next line more important. And not only is it more important than the last thing I said, it's going to be more important than the last thing you said because that's why I'm saying it. So stepping up is really important. And in talking acting today, I thought that I would look at the reasons that commonly stop you from stepping up. Because the first most obvious reason is that if you feel that you have won the contest, if you feel the competition that's unfolding in the conversation is over, then inevitably you sit down on the lines that follow because you're not competing for a win. And when you sit down, we know the competition is over and we, the audience, lose interest. So the solution to that problem is that you need to be aware that the competition, the battle, is never over until the end of the scene. Even if you think you are winning, you can't be sure that you are and you need to keep moving forward. So ending a scene early um, is a real negative in storytelling. So stepping up is really important in that regard. I came across another example just on the weekend with an actor doing a self-test that if there's a situation in the scene where your character gets new information which they accept as truthful and therefore changes their point of view, then the likelihood is that you sit down because the difficulty has been removed. Ah, right, so things are different now, whereas what you should be doing is going, ah, I see, that makes sense. Well, I think I'll go about it then this way. So you need to keep a, pre a proactive energy moving forward, even if you have a change of point of view that's corrected something that you have assumed um, uh, to be right to that point. Even though you now know something new, you still have to apply that in a proactive way and step up with how you're going to use that new information. And uh, the other one is that if there's a line in which your character says, sorry, frequently actors will sit down on that line. It seems to be a commonly held point of view that if you're saying sorry, you mean it and you are sorry. And of course, there are circumstances in life where we do say sorry and we're meaning, meaning it. But frequently when we say sorry, we're saying, yeah, well, we're, we're a little bit sorry, or, or I need to say sorry because it's the polite thing to do, but I don't really mean it. <clears throat> or we can even say sorry, not meaning that we are sorry at all. 
So you need to keep in mind that when the sorry word comes along, because I, I call it the sorry syndrome, that you don't automatically sit down because you're feeling apologetic. You need to make sure that you're stepping up and maintaining the purpose in your conversation. So don't fall into the sorry trap. And the other one is what I call the, um, the deathly acting syndrome because it seems that a similar thing happens, that, that whenever death is mentioned or referred to um, within the context um, of a scene, that actors immediately go, oh dear, that's sad, and, and, and the emotional feeling worlds. Whereas in fact in life, if somebody mentions that, that uh, another person has died, we tend to, to step up and go, Oh, I am sorry to hear that. We frequently move forward with our conversation purpose, even though we're empathetic. Being empathetic doesn't necessarily mean that we then have to go sadly and sit down. So there's even one more circumstance which I feel is even more common that causes actors to sit down on lines, and that is when your character is affected by strong emotion. And there seems to be sort of a collective unconscious belief of actors that in fact your key role is to explore the character's emotions. But I believe your key role is to pursue your purpose in the conversation. And that, that when those strong emotions come along, if you diligently pursue your conversation despite or in parallel with the strong emotions then we get a much higher level of drama and in fact a much higher level of emotional content because when you just go to the feeling place then you tend to stop stepping up on lines because feelings are static and so you stay in that spot and the scene flat lines or you sit down even more because of the feelings. And both those things are detrimental to engaging your audience with the drama that's unfolding or existing between the characters in the scene. So have a think about what are the things that are on your list that might have you sitting down on a line because... Your job is to keep stepping up. And that's been the focus of this 16th Talking Acting for 2022. See you next time. There is much to be learnt from this unique approach. If you have a question, you can email me, richard at rehearsalroom.com. Make a booking for a free 30-minute chat or download the ebook. It's free too.